back with another video today i'm going to be switching out the tires on my road bike i'm going to be upgrading from 700 by 20s in the front and 700 by 23s in the back to 700 by 28s in both the front and the back all right there's a reason for me doing this um for one i just had a blowout i just had a two blowout so i'm like all right why not use this opportunity to go ahead and upgrade the tire sizes and um additionally I've been hearing about how, you know, I shouldn't be riding it on 700 by 20 and 23s at my weight. Apparently, I've been too heavy for this tire size for a whole year now. And um, I don't think I've ever had a blowout that may have been directly related to weight. I've had a blowout once last year. Um, I saw exactly how the tire blew. I mean, I, I ran over this pointy rock out of everything that was on the road. I ran over this one little pointy rock and I was like, I, you know what? I bet then eventually I'm gonna feel myself riding on the rim. And that's exactly what happened. So I don't know if we wanna count that. I don't really think it was a weight thing. Um, and the same with this time the tire just blew out. I don't think it was a weight thing. I had to, I think it had to do with the terrain that I was riding on. I was riding on the road, but the pavement was pretty rough. It hadn't been paved in years and you could tell like it had been weathered. It was a really, really bumpy ride. It was almost felt like gravel or even rougher than gravel at least on road bike tires it did especially 700 by 20s and 23 so um that was the the final straw i guess um it's not like i was really bugged out and anxious to do it but like i said why not take the opportunity to do that so um heading to the store now we're gonna grab everything we need for it and i'll drop some links for you to be able to grab this stuff if you can't get it at your local store and um we're gonna actually we're just getting the tubes all right we're getting the tubes and the tire le levers i already ordered the tires i'll show you the tires i ordered and uh yeah so let's do that and then let's head back to the house so normally i would get the tubes and all that stuff online but since i'm down the street from the store i'm just going to grab some tubes from here but i will drop a recommendation on where you should get some tubes so i'm in walmart right now in the bike section and we're gonna go grab the tube. So here they go, right here. These ones are not right here. That's it. Get 25 to 32 millimeters. So I'm gonna grab two of these. The other thing you wanna get tire levers. So if you don't have some of these already, maybe. All right, so these are the tires I got. These Chow Yangs right here. As you can see, they're 700 by 28s. And the instructions said that you should probably leave these out overnight just so they can kind of create form. So I already did that. I had them left out since last night. There's also instructions on the tire of the box. So if you get that file on instructions, you should find replacing tires relatively straightforward. Um, these were comparable to like a higher end brand. And I just figured, you know, why not to give these a shot? And if they don't hold up, then I'll swap them out. So we could also treat this like a product review as well. So let's see how these go after I put them on with the new tubes. Uh, we'll take it for a ride and then I'll explain how it feels. And we'll go from there. The tires right here. As you can see, they usually look a little funny until they start to take shape. But they're like completely folded up and flat when they're in the box. And when they come out and you leave them out and kind of mold them a little bit they take shape they don't look too much different than they did yesterday when i first put them out after making the shape but you know it's all about following instructions there so i did that so get now depending on what's easier for you you could either put this on a bike stand um turn it upside down or just just be here in this standing state and uh you know just pop this here the dropouts so pop this here make sure it's loose enough and just give the bike a little raise and loosen it and as you loosen it it should just it should pop off so just get up here cool and i can see that it's out now i'm just gonna detach the chain if i can slide this out past the derailleur back tires off the gloves I'm wearing do nothing special they're really just to um, reduce the amount of dirt that gets on my fingers and these gloves you know I'll put if you want to get a pair of these gloves I'm not gonna link you in the description here so you can grab a box of these gloves they're disposable like I said nothing special just some cheap disposable gloves 
all-purpose, pretty good for, um, you know, like I said, it's reducing the amount of dirt that gets in your hands. The tube. Okay. So it looks like it looks like this in the box. Okay, press the valve tube here. The first thing we want to do here is separate the rim from the tube. Okay, so in order to do that first, we need to unscrew the top here on the press the valve. And there's this little uh, nut here that's on top of it. You want to take this off. If yours has one, and then this should slide right out. Okay, take this off. Now the easiest way I found to do this part is actually is to first seat the tire and then tuck the tube in. So let's seat these tires first. Right now what I'm doing is lining up the back side of the tire so that it could uh, pop out the rim. And what I'm doing is here is I'm just kind of like working my way around the sides and working it around until I get to the bottom. And then the bottom is going to pop right over the lip right here. Boom. So now that that's in, now I want to seat the tube. And I want to start with where the valve is. So the valve is here, meaning that I want to put the tube in from there first. We're going to do the same. We're going to take all this cool stuff off the tube. Now it's important that when you put this tube in, and you've really run into this more with a tube that's already been pumped before, you want to make sure that it's completely deflated because if it's not, you run the risk of, uh, you know, pinching the tube into the rim during installation. And you don't want to pinch it in. You want there to be a, a smooth, even fit. Maybe you can see how this looks there. What I'm trying to do is get the valve through that hole. All right, so now I have it up to where I can see. And boom. Now that it's lined up, I'm just gonna push it through. This is one of the most important parts to get seated because if you don't seat this part correctly, your tube could uh, get a pinch flat almost immediately. So now what I'm doing is I'm just tucking this in, tucking the tube in to the tire, just sitting it in there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work in the lip of the tire and the tube at the same time. All right, so I'm starting here, I'm trying to seat it there and slowly work my way around. So this all seated. Take your time with this. Again, you don't wanna pinch the tube in there. Make sure it's seated properly. Slowly rotate the wheel as you're tucking it in. And again, since this tube has never had air in there, it should be a lot easier. So far, pretty good. Seating nicely. Make sure the tube is in one direction going all the way around. You don't want the tube to be twisted and turned around upside down while you're tucking it in. It should be completely seated on one side throughout the entire tube and rim. Try not to move on to the next section of the tube without ensuring that it's been uh, seated properly. Keep working it in. Cool. Now the tire is back on just like that. And we didn't need any tire levers. This tire, this rim was already hanging off the tire from when the flat took place. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this nut back here on the tube. And as I put air in it, this is gonna come out more. So 
We're not worried about it right now. Once it comes out, I'll screw this all the way down. All right, let's put some air in this tire and then we'll move on to the next one. I usually keep one of these press the valve covers here, um, adapters here on a tire so that I can use whatever pump is available when the time comes. I'll open up that valve, screw this on, and we'll begin to pump. This little pump here is going to give you a workout. Try to get this up to at least 90 PSI. Right between 100 and 110. Yeah. Nice pumped tire. And then we can put that back on. There we go. Wheel is through the brakes now. We're gonna wrap the chain back around the rear cassette. Now we got that seated back in there. We've got the rear wheel reseated. gonna do the front wheel same applies you're not gonna have a bike stand if you catch a flap pops out all right it's gonna be different with this one since the wheel is already seated so I'm gonna show you how the tire levers work all the air out all right what I'm doing now is just loosening it now if you're lucky you might be able to get this off without even using tire levers. Like what I'm doing now, I'm just tucking my finger in there and pulling it over the rim. All right, and let's see how far I can get by just doing that. And cool, it's off. So I don't need to use the tire levers. What I would have done is put one in here, and left it in here where my thumb is, then put another one in there, and then work my way around with the other one. But looks like I didn't need to with this one. So it's coming right off with ease, and then we'll just Complete the same steps. We'll just do the same thing for this tire. Take everything off. Pull the valve out. Still a good tube. Let's just make sure that this tube work with the rim. You know, this might be specific to 700 by 20 or 700 by 23. So this says 700 by 23C to 31. Still would be fine in this new tire that we're putting on. Follow the same steps again. I'm gonna seat the back lip first, working our way around, doing both sides at the same time. Just work it around, work it around, work it around until we're eventually seated. Boom, popped over. As soon as that pops over, put that back in through here, work it back in. So we'll start seating it here. This tire does have a preferred direction to go in. The arrow points in the direction that the tire should rotate. Just tuck that tube back up into the rim like that. And just start seating it. Once it starts to respect where you're seating it at, just keep going. If you start off and it's not respecting it, like right here where I started, it wasn't respecting, just keep going until it does start to respect it. Like don't get stressed out trying to get it perfectly seated at the very beginning. Because as you move around the circle, it'll eventually start to seat. Just as you stretch the tire according to the rim and tuck the tube in, it'll all eventually just start to tuck in there. Now it's important that you're tucking it in without pinching it in. You don't want to pinch it in. Pinch it in, you might increase the risk of getting a pinch flat. Try to lay it in there as smooth as possible. So you got an example of a tube that has already had air in it and a brand new tube in this video so hopefully you're able to overcome your situation regardless of you know what it is you're going through here we go see now it's, it's respecting We 
go. We have another seated tire. Now let's put some air in this one. All right, about 110 in the front. Bounce test, tires in. Now let's get this tire back in and test this out. Get this through to the rim. Boom. Just like that, front tire is seated. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look at it. Looks good. So let's grab a helmet and give it a test go. Feels good. Bike feels like it's working pretty well. All right, y'all. So we just replaced the tube and tires on a road bike. That's those same steps apply for any type of bicycle. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you like this video or similar types of videos or just POV footage in general, action POV footage specifically on the bikes, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share to other people that you think will enjoy this or find this useful as well. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.